One of the interesting aspects when we think of yellow diamonds toward this lower end of the D to Z scale is the impact of cutting on the color appearance. And this was, uh, this was a very intriguing uh, characteristic that, that we noted and uh, have talked about with a number of diamond manufacturers who were really working with these diamonds back at a time when few other people were. Um, and they had begun to play with different cutting styles, uh, initially for stones in the near colorless range, that they felt might um, obscure inclusions. So they would take some of these square cuts, step cuts, and began to modify some of the facets on the stone to break up the pattern, create a more, uh, a more uh, contrasting pattern of light and dark, more of a mosaic appearance uh, that, that could probably mask some of the inclusions and create a better face-up appearance. And what they began to notice is as they did this on diamonds toward the lower end of the scale, it intensified the face-up appearance. And they began to uh, notice that they could take diamonds that were in the light yellow range on the D to Z scale, and by m cutting them in a way that would uh, create these kind of patternings, they also intensified the appearance to the point where the diamond would pass into grades of fancy light or fancy yellow. Uh, over time, they uh, began to do this with uh, stones from the rough, but initially it was often recutting of uh, round brilliant stones or even other fancy shapes uh, that were cut to display light dark patterns. They were recut to enhance the color appearance. And uh, in the early days, it was probably not so much a matter of more colored diamonds in the marketplace as it was a lot of recutting of some of these D to Z stones into appearances that blossomed with much more face-up color. Now, the, these stones would transition into the grades, like we were saying, of fancy light or fancy yellow.